with Reaction is Texas Public Policy Foundation Vice President and former California State Assemblyman Chuck DeVore. Chuck, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So I, I wonder, Gavin's trip to China, how does the green agenda and cozying up to the commies, how does that improve the lives of the citizens back home in California or anyone in America? Can you make sense of that? Yeah, so this is about a mutual benefit both to Governor Gavin Newsom, who I think very much would like to be president, especially mm -hmm. given uh, that our President Biden is so obviously declining in his cognition. Uh, he's got some serious issues from his health standpoint and, and growing evidence of the corruption of the Biden crime family. So on one hand, this allows Gavin Newsom to look wonderful on the global stage. He looks very presidential, doesn't he? And on the other hand, it allows China to look reasonable, uh, working with the governor of the most populous uh, and, and certainly most uh, powerful from the GDP standpoint, U.S. state, uh, all the time while about 30 Californians a day are dying of fentanyl poisoning. Mm. So it's quite remarkable. The, it was if he is going to be worried about people actually seeing some of these videos that were taken of him because he's sitting in this BYD hybrid that is both a car and a boat that you can't buy here. This is the vehicle here. But there's video of him, and he actually says this, who needs a car when you can have a car and a boat? And it is, it will be the Mike Dukakis in a tank video. They will roll this over and over again. Again, what about the Uyghurs, communist China, fully, he's, he's a pitch man with a car salesman had a hair, humping a communist country that wants to wipe the U.S. off the map. Yeah, there's a couple of things going on here. You have to understand that Gavin Newsom at a very, very young age had a very strong connection to the Getty family. They essentially adopted him after his parents got divorced. His dad was very important with the Getty family, was their personal tax attorney. So he was raised in an environment of privilege, an international environment of privilege. So he's quite used to these sorts of uh, you know, trips meeting with very powerful people. The other thing that's very important to understand is the green agenda in China uh, has a very sinister overtone. What China is doing is China is essentially rolling out more than half of the world's electric vehicles are in China. What people don't know or they don't want to know is those vehicles are mainly coal-fired electric vehicles. <laughs> now, why is China doing it? China is doing that so they can cut back on their uh, reliance on imported oil, most of which comes through the Strait of Malacca down by Singapore. Why is that important to China? Because if they ever get in a tussle with the United States, as is happening now, as they're pushing around our treaty ally, the Philippines, as we speak, if there is ever a war, China would need to continue to operate their economy. Electric vehicles allow them to do that. Dagan mm -hmm. has nothing to do with saving the environment. Of course Everything does. to do with Chinese energy resilience. You know, Chuck, I think uh, Gavin Newsom is a buffoon. My concern, though, is if not Joe Biden, um, he seems to be the next um, po Democrat politician that will elevate to the White House, who's a Democrat. And what concerns me is if you want to have an American strategy against China to win, whether it's the economic war or actual war that's coming in the future, you need both parties unified, phil philosophically thinking, how do we beat China? And we have to stand as one. When you take trips like this and you cozy up to the Chinese, I'm afraid as an American, when America's divided politically, then China's going to win in the long run. Yeah, and China has put a lot of effort into what's known as united front organizations in America and at the state level. When I was in the state legislature sometime around 2006 or 7, there was a concerted effort by the Chinese foreign ministry to shift the vote on an important issue acknowledging Tibet Day. Mm -hmm. uh, they were successful. They were able to get the vote stopped and turned around. And several of the people who voted for that, uh, for voted on behalf or in the same direction the Chinese Communist Party wanted them to, are in the U.S. Congress today. Mm. And so China sees California as kind of the window of America to the Pacific. Another thing is that the Biden administration, one of the few good things they're doing, is they're preventing high-tech uh, integrated circuits, computer chips, right. from getting to China. And China is really hurting from this. Well, naturally, Silicon Valley titans don't like this. They have a direct line to Governor Newsom, and no doubt Governor Newsom 
is going to be exercising some degree of his influence to try to persuade the Biden administration right, to right. lighten up a little bit. China gets American companies and American politicians to lobby our government to do the bidding for China. Chuck DeVore, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us on The Bottom Line. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Chuck.